Hello again, it's Vicki with Condi Tech Support. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tile mural out of Corel Draw using the X5 version. This would work for all versions of Corel that has the import tool. The product we're going to make is a hanging tile uh, frame and with the hooks. This is sold here at Condi. So it's going to be simple, basic, and easy to make. Uh, you can use the information given in this video for any uh, mural that you want to create. The same basic concept would be applied. This is this is what we're going to make. We're going to make four tile murals going uh, uh, in in length, so that uh, you can do this from your home real easily. I hope it'll help. So let's get started in Corel. Minimize this screen. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click here. Uh, this is the end result. We're going to create a new document and we're going to call this uh, tile mural. Made easy. And got a custom page. Everything looks correct here. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to make this uh, har uh, horizontal, or should we say landscape. And I know that my document's going to be uh, more than 11 inches in length, so I'm just going to type in a random number that I know would work, 27, and click within the page. And now I have a document that I can work with. Now, to get started, we're going to make four squares, okay? Four squares being 6.125 in um, length and width. And so um, the reason we add the 125 is for bleed. Clicked on my uh, rectangle tool. And now I've got crosshairs. I'm just going to draw a random square. I'm going to go up here to my length and width and type in my measurement, 6.125 my tab which will go to the uh, next one 6.125 and uh, just press enter I've got my first tile created bounded in now with it bounded in I want to uh, create three more real easy way to do that using your keyboard is uh, hot tools that's what we call them, hot tools. I'm going to hold down my control button and press the D three times. D is for duplicate. Now I've got four tiles and I'm ready to drag them onto my, do my document. I'm just going to place them in here any old way, right? Because what I'm going to do, and let's mess them up a little bit so you can see how this tool works. Now I'm ready to uh, compress these a little bit more, um, actually should I say line them up onto the document. So in order to do that, um, I'm going to click on a, uh, the, to the far left top corner and hold my mouse, my left mouse button down and drag across the four objects. What that does is it, it grabs all four tile squares and it holds them and contains them in the bounding box bounding box as you can see has these little blocks all the way around it. Now I'm ready to um, align these blocks so that I can work with them in my mural with our create a mural. I'm going to go up here and left click on arrange, left cl click on align and distribute, come over, left click on align centers horizontally. And that lines them up uh, horizontally across my document. Now I want to, what I need to do is to uh, compress them together a little better. And it doesn't matter that it's perfect because when we print this out we're going to be sublimating them individually anyway. So to get out of this hold I have, this bounding box, I'm just going to click outside of the um, object somewhere on the white space in the page. I'm going to grab one of these and I'm going to slide it over to the right. So to do that, select it, which we've done, and using your keyboard, find your right arrow key, and it's just beside your numeric 
numeric pad over to the right and just click until you get a little closer or just hold it down and it'll move in okay and that's close enough for me and now I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to do the same this time moving to the left and that's good enough and finally the last one Oops, a little too far so move it back and okay that's all four lined up horizontally now I want to uh, grab them all and kind of shift it over so that it fits on the document a little better so holding my left arrow or holding my left mouse click I'm going to grab all four of them and center it here and just kind of slide all four of them uh, center page and click outside to let go <clears throat> now what I'm ready to do is to combine these so in order to put or place my image uh, using the power clip I want to group all four of these objects okay so I'm going to left click and grab all four of them again I'm going to go up um, to effects then arrange and there's a group there I can do it here or uh, a more simple way is just right click inside the bounding box and left click on group what does group do group now will combine all four objects so that when you click on one you've clicked on all four of them okay so that's what we want to do we've got it grouped so that now these four objects have become one object and we want to work with that we're ready to go get our image now so I'm going to click file and I'm going to go down to import and I'm going to select or grab the image I've chosen for this um, video and there it is and click import now keep in mind you want to get a, a a nice quality image this would not work with any image if you have to enlarge it um, always choose a good image before you start with this now this is asking me what profile I want to use we're going to use the RGB color profile I'm going to click OK I've got my little placement tool where I'm just going to place it up here kind of out of the way all right as you can see I'm gonna grab it center and kind of line it up uh, just kind of drag it and let go so that it sits above the tile mural but as you can see this mural or this image is not going to quite make the length so I'm going to show you how to size this so that we can work with it now in sizing this I've chosen an image that I can basically anywhere within this image when it's placed and in, contained inside my my mural it's going to uh, it's going to look good because of the type image it is so I'm, I'm going to grab a corner here where you're going to see uh, this little arrow tool open up and then I'm going to left click and hold and enlarge the image so that it'll fit across the tiles and that's about right I'm gonna go a little bit bigger so to make sure I get it and that looks right so now it's going to fit across all four of these objects with the image selected I'm going to go to effects and left click and then I'm going to scroll down to power clip scroll over to place inside container and that's going to give me a big black arrow and what that arrow is going to do is place this image across these four tiles and I can click anywhere within this bounding box or these objects and it's going to place it in there 
So as you can see, it's placed all four, um, I'm sorry, placed the image across all four of the blocks. Now, let's say I want to move it around so that it'll print differently somewhere else within that image. And uh, if I want to do that, I just right click over the object and then um, I want to edit the contents. Extracting the contents would take it completely out of the um, mural. We don't want to do that. We just, or I don't want to do that. I'm just going to edit it. And editing will let me see all four blocks while I'm moving it around. So as you can see, I can see all four of my objects here. And I'm just going to click and grab this image and just move it up to a place where I want it to print. and that's about right and just kind of let it go there so you can move it by editing the image you can move it anywhere you want to onto the uh, object in which you want it to be printed and this is the area in which would be printed so now I'm ready to finish editing I'm going to right click and left click on finishing finish editing this level and now what I have is uh, the printable area. Let's say uh, I'm ready to print. So what I need to do so that I can, if I want to print these one by one, which is what I would do, so it would fit in my smaller um, uh, 3300 printer, Ricoh 3300, or a smaller format, I can just click on one of these. So in order to do that, I'm going to right click on the objects and I'm going to ungroup it. Now what I can do so that I can print these individually is just grab one, sorry, grab one at a time and I can just move these around as I want. If I want to print this one at a time, uh, which is what I'm going to do, is I can just copy paste this into a new document or I can uh, shrink this document size down and just move the other three to the side somewhere while I print just the one and uh, that would work for what we're doing so there you have it that's an easy made uh, tile mural and uh, I hope that this has shown you how to do a mural inside Corel Draw and I've answered all in any questions you might have if you have any more questions or if there's something that uh, you want to ask me you can call me at 1-800-826-6332 and uh, I'll be happy to go over uh, how you do this. Again, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support. Stay tuned for more videos coming up on our Condi TV site. Uh, thank you for your time today.